So what I'm about to, to do as a demonstration is uh, rough puff pastry. The recipe comes from my book Pastry, which is a book about dough, um, a lot of kind of dough. Rough puff pastry is one of the most useful one and one of the easiest to make. So easy that uh, uh, everyone should make his rough puff pastry indeed. Uh, we've got 500 grams of flour, plain flour, 500 grams of butter, Ice cold, little cube. They've got to be fairly firm. And then you've got water, a little ice water, 125 milliliter, and a tablespoon of spore. salt, thin, fine salt. So flour, butter, equal quantity, the water, ice cold, and a bit of salt. Now, what I need is a surface, if possible, in marble, and that what we are having at the moment. So let's start. Like anything you do, you always have all your ingredients at hand so you don't rush around and everything is ready for you to work. And the water, the ice cold water, we will add it last. So here we are. The flour, making a little weld. The butter in the middle. Have a little dice of butter. Here we are. It's very therapeutic when you feel tired if you want to make pastry. It's a real pleasure. Indeed. You just squash them very delicately. The salt in the middle. Here we are. And don't wear an earring, no watch. When you make dough and pastry in general, it's always better that you take your rings off. So you squash the butter very gently into the flour and bring the flour from the outside to the middle and squashing it as it comes. So the butter is going to absorb the flour and we're going to get some nice little pieces of butter, but it's not going to be totally mixed together. We must leave some fleck, nice little fleck of butter before, before we add the water. Here we are, well, it's going nicely. Takes a bit of time, that's the longest in fact, because anything else after that will be fairly easy and quick. The reason I'm choosing a rough puff pastry instead of classic one is simply because rough puff pastry, the result is pretty close to the classic puff pastry. Indeed, it developed beautifully well and about 80%, 75-80% result of the classic and it takes 20% of the time. Uh, it takes hours to make classic puff pastry while it takes only minutes we're talking about for rough puff. So now it's coming very nicely. The mix is happening. So now everything has got to be together. And you're still squatching in between your finger, between thumbs and the index, the butter with the flour. Yeah, when you're making dough, by the way, it is always better to do it into a kitchen, or in a room anyway, where the temperature is not 22, 24, 26 degrees centigrade. That is sauna temperature almost, and pastry do not like hot room. So it's always better to do those kind of things in a room where the temperature is about 18 degrees centigrade, if possible. This is the ideal temperature. So now we've got it, you can see that, you can see that the flour, there is some little granny flour, but then you've got some nice little piece of butter, fleck of butter, and it's almost ready, it's there, in fact, we're going now to add the water. Here we are. Now, the water goes in the middle. And it's ice cold, as I was talking about. Uh, we're doing a double quantity. I've doubled up my quantity. So therefore, I've got 250 milliliters of water and not 125. 
as stated early on. So I'm putting in the middle most of it, bring back the flowers and the butter into it and mix it nicely. A bit more, bring back together and here we are. And we're going to need a palette knife or a scraper to bring back everything there. Perfect. Ah, you see, now we're getting there. Uh, you need some flour to obviously flour your board and clean your hand because remember, when you do make a dough, you don't wash your hand. It's not a, a really a great practice, only when you totally finish working. That's a different matter. The best way of not washing your hand, but getting the pieces of dough, flour, butter, out of your hand, out of your fingers, is to take a bit of flour, mix it like that, and here we are. It all goes down, because it's all clean, all goodies, because obviously, before I start making my dough, and not only I wash my hand, but I brush my nails, and I take my watch off, and my rings, as I said early on. So now we're there. That's the beauty. Look at that. That is the dough, as it is, and I'm going to roll it in a few minutes, and give four turns. Give a little rest in between the turn. Two first, and again another two, 20 minutes after because you've got to leave in resting it for a little while, but not as long as the classic puff pastry, because the classic will have to rest a lot longer, which, be long, which will become a bit too long and a bit cumbersome. Here, if you want to make a surprise to your chef, indeed, you should make rough puff pastry and see you, the chef, the face of your chef, when you turn out and you just show him what you've done because rough puff pastry is a real pleasure. Here, well, uh, you look at the texture and you look at the pieces of butter, there is still some pieces, fleck of butter, little flecks of butter, indeed. It's not totally mixed, it must not be totally mixed. So now the rolling, I'm going to get my pastry roller. I like the wooden one, but you can use plastic one. If you haven't got even any roller, you can take a bottle and roll it with a bottle. Be careful not to break the bottle, obviously. So, the flour is there. So, flouring lightly the surface, your marble. I just clean in a little bit the marble with my scrapper or a palette knife, indeed. Here we are, and now I'm flowering. You can see what you're flowering. It's not big splosh of flour, never, ever. Very nice little film of water. Of flour, but never too much indeed. Here we are. And don't move your body, by the way, left, right, and center, and stay in place in a position. Press it at the two hand of the roller, pastry roller, and then here we are. We've got that marvelous first roll. Then I'll bring it back and back again on itself. So I repeat, and I'm going to show you this way, which will be better to understand. Once, then twice. So now we've done one, two, and we're back. And then we're going to roll it once more. And that is the first turn, by the way. We're going now for the second turn. So a little more flour, but not much. And here we are. It is very healthy, by the way. Much better to do everything by hand. Imagine buying your puff pastry. Good Lord, anyone can buy his puff pastry. Making it is much better. 
and the product will be better. Indeed, the result it will be more tasty and you can be proud of you. So, if you have a little brush, which if needed, if you put too much excess flour, you brush the flour excess with your hand or a little brush, then you bring back again once, then bring back two eyes, and then what have you got? You've got two turn. So two turn, and then now you mark your two turn, two turn, here we are, and it's got to go to the refrigerator. So you put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Let it rest, and then another two roll is needed and then you will have four rolling stage. And at four, four turns, the pastry, the rough puff pastry is ready to